I am uh, not going to be going too much into detail of the uh, installation of the MIA blade grip safety device here. The, uh, these two parts here, one is up and one is underneath here. Because this was already explained in uh, three other videos that are under the MCPX upgrade section of our website. So you can look at those videos and, uh, and see how, that, uh, how that's done and why we're including this part uh, as well as part of the combo units. Installation of the canopy is uh, final and basically the canopy is uh, uh, has been perforated very much uh, in a similar way to the stock uh, canopies. There's four perforations here and these are required to mount onto the, uh, the, the uh, arms of the uh, stock uh, helicopter frame. There's uh, one, one rod here that runs left and right and another rod at the front that runs left and right. So basically what you want to do, the way this is done, the way this is going to work easier is um, you want to take the canopy and you want to slip it from the top on an angle here and grab it onto the rear mounting arms. Now this is a, a snug fit and the reason it's snug fit is because you don't want that canopy flopping when you're doing a uh, half line okay so that see how that pivots so that's the rear section now the front end of the canopy you want to open up the canopy slightly and bring the canopy down until it snaps in a similar way to what we're doing here watch the okay see how that was done once again let me open up get it get it away from these pegs bring it down and those little pegs should align with the perforation here. These rods have some kind of flexibility to them. Uh, you can always uh, find the, the rod by, by slightly readjusting the canopy position. And once that's done, you can feel the, uh, the pegs sticking out of the, uh, the canopy. Now bear in mind also that the way that we're doing these canopies, they also have perforations at the front, which should wrap around the landing gear section in, in this manner here. Okay, so once that's done, you should have a, a pretty secure canopy there. Now, the battery also uh, slips right underneath the canopy slightly. And so if the canopy needs to move, you can always open up these, these sections here, but it also provides a way to retain itself onto the uh, the frame via the battery section here. See how it wraps around the battery, nice and nice and clean. So that's the reason why we're doing these canopies in in this way here. But like I said, start with the rear ta uh, mounting tabs first, and then bring the canopy down and find the, the two uh, mounting pegs at the front. You may need to readjust the canopy to do that and once that's in place it should be there for good clearance of the uh, control rods you can see here that this canopy is fully open on at the top and you have enough room here for the control rods to move up and down the amount that they need to for uh, positive and negative pitch on the blades the collective uh, uh, control here so that clears nicely and at this point you're ready to go your helicopter should look like that uh, it's a very nice uh, nice spiffy setup and you're ready to fly now, if you have any questions you can always uh, email us email mario or sylvia at miadsgns at cox.net you can also find our email through our website and like i said at the start of this video you can order this whole kit as a combo the whole thing as you see it here or individually you can order the canopy the landing gear with the boom support and fins uh, you can order the bgs the blake grip safety device separately and you can also order this with other options in various other colors and with the solid color canopies